Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 26th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be talking about padding and uh, we'll be seeing how we can uh, apply uh, you know few properties uh, that allow us to have uh, padding in a div tag and uh, I have a file opened up in my text editor it's called padding.html and as you can see in the style section within the head section of uh, this file I have uh, applied a few rules to the div element and uh, I have a border which is two pixels thick and uh, is sorted in type and uh, then I have used uh, four properties padding top bottom left and right but I haven't given any values and then I have uh, used a property called float and I've given the value left to it so first of all what this thing does is float left compresses the paragraph whatever text or you know whatever you're going to have within your div element to the left of the page so you know in uh, this particular file I just have some text so as you can see I have uh, you know two headings in the body and uh, the first heading is uh, an h1 heading and it's the name of uh, one of my favorite poems Invictus and uh, the second heading is uh, an h3 level heading and uh, it's also in italics uh, by William Henley and then inside the div element I've got uh, you know uh, the verses of the poem now uh, let me show you how this file looks when I open it in Google Chrome this is how it looks so this is what I meant you know uh, when you use float left this entire thing uh, which was supposed to span the entire page is now you know compressed towards the left and you can see that the border extends you know till the last character of uh, the longest sentence in the poem you know so uh, what padding is it, padding is you know basically the space between uh, you know the content of the element and the border of the element so if suppose you want some space here you know between the full stop after scroll and the border uh, or you know the text and uh, the left border or the text and the top border or the text and the bottom border then you would use padding so we want uh, some space on all four sides that's why we are going to give uh, values to all four properties so you know let's have a padding of 10 pixels I'm just going to put 10 pixels here and then copy this text and uh, for each of these I'm just going to paste the value I'll save the file I'll go back to the browser and refresh and there we go we now see that you know it's much easier to read uh, the contents and you know if you're using fancy fonts then it becomes sort of uh, essential to have uh, padding because uh, otherwise uh, it becomes very difficult to read the text so that's it for this tutorial I'm going to see you in the next video in which we'll uh, continue exploring CSS properties I hope you guys had fun watching this one and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'll see you soon till then take care